Hello friends, welcome to School of Political Science. In this video, I am going to talk about a very interesting topic in international relations that is realism. Realism is a very important topic for students of international relations. It is also a dominant theory in international relations. So what is realism in international relations? Let's start. Realism is the most dominant school of thought in international relations after World War II and till now it has relevance in the present international scenario. Realism had gained its popularity from late 1930s and early 1940s when idealist approach had failed to analyze the real politics throughout the world. The center point of realism are state, power and self-interest. Before you get into the details of realism, you need to get into the basic outlines of realism. So what are the basic outlines of realism? The basic outlines of realism are the international politics are anarchic. Anarchy refers to the absence of authority or governing body. That means in international politics, there are absence of central authority. The next one is, sovereign state is the principal actor in international politics. Since international politics does not have central authority, that is why the state is the principal actor at international politics. Then, state is a rational unitary actor which acting under the consideration of its own national interest. That means, States in international politics are always act for their national interest. National security and survival are the primary goal of the state. Due to the anarchy, the national security and survival is considered to be the primary goal of the state. Then national power and capabilities determine the relations among state. Keep these outlines in your mind and now you can start realism from the bottom. Where is the origin of realism? Though realism in international relations has emerged after 1930s, the concept of realism has its own ancient tradition. We find the concept of realism in the writings of Thucydides, Niccolo Machiavelli, Thomas Hobbes, and Jean Jacques Rousseau. Thucydides was an ancient Greek historian who wrote the history of the Peloponnesian War. In this book, he described about intellectual forerunner of real politic. Real politic refers to the political realist perspective of looking at world politics, especially from the viewpoint of human nature. This war was originally between Athens and Sparta. By profession, he was a militarian of Athens, and this book was participants observer's diary. In exploring the cause of this war, he shows how Athens' ability to grow and the lack of a sense of Spartan security led to a totalitarian movement throughout Greece. The main part of this war the Melian Dialogue, when Athens attacked Melos and proposed to surrender but the Council of Melos refused it and said that we invite you to allow us to be friends of yours and enemies to neither side to make a treaty which shall be agreeable to both you and us and so to leave our country. It was an attempt to preserve self-esteem. Naturally, the Athens destroyed the Melos and establishes itself. The policy of Athens was that the standard of justice depends on the equality of power to compel and that in fact, the strong do what they have the power to do, the weak accept what they are accept. It was also a method of establishing the dominance of a powerful state. The next thinker is Niccolo Machiavelli, an Italian philosopher who wrote a famous book called The Prince. This book was also considered as a guidebook 
which told that what a prince should actually be and the way he should wield his power in order to gain and maintain his sway over his state. In his book, he said that a prince, especially a new prince, cannot observe all these things which are considered good in men, being often obliged in order to maintain the state to act against faith, against charity, against humanity and against religion. That means the prince of a state can rise in the interest of the state in humanitarian rituals and make immoral decisions if necessary. The main task of prince is the protection of the state's interest and in pursuing that purpose, the prince can refute the principles adopted in his life. However, the support of political realities is most likely to be found in the book Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes. Following Hobbes' statement, ideas of unending and perpetual anarchy in the state of nature and the endless struggle for survival have brought in international relations. The main cause of this anarchy and endless struggle in the state of nature lies on the basic characteristics of human nature. The man in Hobbesian state of nature was meant to be enemy of every man of three principal causes. These are competition, difference and glory. The life of man was solitary, poor, nasty, brutish and short. The fact that Jean-Jacques Rousseau speaks of the state's role in describing the international situation in his The State of War article. This article is largely in line with real statement of recent times. He said that it can always grow bigger, it feels weak so long as there are others stronger than itself. Its safety and preservation demand that it makes itself stronger than its neighbors. It cannot increase, foster or exercise its strength except at their expense and even if has no need to seek for provisions beyond its borders. It searches ceaselessly for a new members to give itself a more unshakable position. So my friends, from the origin of realism, you have learned some basic points of realism. From Thucydides, you have got the point of real politic, which refers political realist perspective of looking at international politics in the viewpoint of human nature. The state behaves just like humans behave. From Machiavelli, we have already got the notion of interest of the state. That means national interest is the prime goal of a state. From Hobbes, just like his state of nature, international politics are in anarchic situation where every state is trying for her survival and states acts like human nature. Like Hobbes, Rousseau also has taught us that Every state feels insecure and fear for survival. That's why they try to increase their defensive power and this process continues going on. I hope you have got all the points. Uh, so thank you friends for watching this video. In the next video, I will talk about how these notions are implemented in classical realist thought. And I also talk about what neorealism is. So please do subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to get notification for latest videos.